Give us a land acknowledgement and tell us on whose land we really reside. So give it up for Frank Yellow. Hello, Matunku Wase. We are all related. We are on stolen Dakota land. We have empty buildings and empty promises. And I would use that T word, uh, treaty. Yeah, it seems to have lost its power. It never had it, apparently. So let's talk about this broken social contract that the police officers themselves have made when they sign their oath or whatever they do. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we need to start honoring that. Reparations do us no good. What we want is this free space, these public lands, so we can use them to house people. Yep. And uh, who are they anyway to keep us back from having an opportunity to live? Right? How we talk to you last day? There's so much to say. Um, ultimately, what we need is action, right? So, words are words, but we need these guys, you know, these administration buildings. Where are they today? Are they taking a day off? We don't get a day off as homeless people. From, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, you're homeless. You want a full time job? Yeah. What you know about working? What you know about working? And these statues over here, like, what do they represent? Who are they representing? Who are they actually representing? Who are they exactly? You got what that? What, there used to be a little statue over here, right, dude? What happened to that guy? That genocidal maniac deserved to be thrown down. Goddamn right! Goddamn right! Um, it's not about me. It's about us. We own these guys. These are our civil servants. You know? You in the uniform with the guns, where'd you go? You're my, I'm your boss. We, we are your bosses. You pay taxes, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Stolen land. Stolen land, right? No one talks about the genocide in this country. What's up with that? At least, at least 10 million Native Americans were slaughtered in this country. How can we never get that in school? By, by rich, white-owning white men. Like it or not, that's what it was. You know, if you had land, if you had money, if you had title and you were white, you could do whatever the hell you wanted to do. And that continues to this day. Why is that? You had the Catholic Church, another power structure, control structure over there. What's the point of that? For what? We could be helping each other, but instead we're giving them tidings. To go to heaven. Well, guess what? You don't want to know where heaven and hell exist? In here? In here. You want your temple? This is your temple. Yeah. You know, your, your, our connection to God isn't in buildings and in brick. And you want to find God? God, split a piece of wood and you'll find God. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there's there's so much to say. Um, everyone, everyone here, everyone here that's watching, that's paying attention, that wants to help, we need your help now. Because literally, I mean, I know you guys, you come on, Netflix, Game of Thrones, or wherever the fuck it came from. Winter is coming and we're tired. Okay? That's it. Bonjour. My name is Mike Forsha, a Bad River Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians, chairman of the American Indian Movement Twin Cities. Thank you, thank you. I'm going on like 26 hours now. I've been at the Wall of Forgotten Natives since yesterday. Spent the whole night there, Spent since we opened it up. And I had some, uh, some of my accomplices jumped over the fence and they got us in. And um, they couldn't do anything about it because they couldn't evict them. And so there we sit. 
I believe we're sitting on a pipeline. You know, that's pretty ironic, isn't it? Um, you know, I kind of want to start at the beginning of this because this all has to do with disparity and despair. Now, the building over there, cathedral, and this one here, the church and the state together, they conspired against Native Americans. And when they first came over here and they disguised themselves as pilgrims, pioneers, and settlers. But what they really were, were extreme white Christian terrorists. That's what they were. And that spirit is alive and well in Minnesota. We have so many white Christ, extreme white Christian terrorists. And they're part of the police force. They're part of the prosecution. They're part of the doctors. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. And when they took all of the land, all of the resources, left us with nothing except the blank piece of paper that said promises. Promises. And we, what are you going to do with the promise? You certainly can't. We should be the richest people in the world. Everybody wants to come here. Everybody wants to come here. Us Native Americans. Yes. And why do they want to come here? Because it's so beautiful and it's great and it's, but it's stolen. It's looted. They brought their book that said, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. And they killed and they cheated us and they stole. And so we have their book. They got the land and resources. And now we're begging, we're begging, we're begging for just a little bit to help. They took that bridge, 35W, one year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Why can't they do that somewhere else? Take a park, pick a park, any park. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Look at China, how many hospitals did they build in a week? That's not impossible. They got the money. That's right, and then what he said about Jeff Bezos, $200 billion. Those people should be taxed at 75, 85%. And there's no reason the richest country in the world, we cannot provide free health care for everybody. Everybody. Free education for everybody. But they won't share what they took. And then they say, oh, I got land up north, I got it from my great grandma, and I got land over here, and I got left. We don't have land that we get left. We got the reservation. They got the land that, oh, that farm's been in my family for seven generations. Well, whose land was it in eight generations ago? That's right. And then once they put us on the reservation, they said, you know what, you're creative. You think he created something spectacular. Wait till you see what we created. And this is it. This is it. This is what's so beautiful. You can't breathe the air. You can't drink the water. And they're killing us. This lifestyle is killing us. This country was built on the quarterly report. That's what it is. It's a corporation. And you know what? I'm so glad we're all marching to the same beat now. We're all marching to the same beat. Black, white, yellow, red. We got to come together. Because they're not going to turn us around now. If they don't come up with something very shortly, I promise you're going to see a tent city here, and you're going to see a tent city over at the cathedral.